I'm Emma from Druid and the Witch and I'm going to show you how to make up one of the bath bomb kits. This one's pecan pie and this is pack A, pre-scented and pre-coloured. You've then got pack B, which is your soap powder. You've got pack C, which is your citric acid. And in pack D, you've got embeds and this can also be doubled up to use as a mould. I've then got a little pot of water and a 5ml spoon, it has to be a cauldron for me and I've got some olive oil here but if you've got any other body safe um, or food oils they're also fine. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a mixing bowl and empty in the contents of pack A. that up make sure there's no hard lumps in it if there is they just break up really easy and then you want to add five mils of water and give that a little mix in make sure it's evenly distributed through the mix Then want to take your oil, five mil of oil, come on out. And mix that through thoroughly. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the pots of embeds and I'm just going to tip the embeds out because I want to get the mould ready before I add the citric acid because once you've added the citric acid you've got to work relatively quickly. That's the really mixed through. Next you're going to take pack B which is your soap powder now you want to tip this gently into your mix. You don't want this to go airborne, really, otherwise it's gonna make you cough a bit. There we go, that's just about all in. And you're gonna mix that through thoroughly. Smells gorgeous, does this one? It makes me hungry every time I use it. Right, you're now ready for your citric acid. So that's pack C. You just want to empty that into there. Oh, I forgot that it was uh, sealed. I'm going to struggle to get into this now. <laughs> oh well. There we are. I just completely annihilated the bag, but never mind. Yeah, you might want a pair of scissors. Right, so that's in. Okay, mix this through thoroughly. And you want to keep mixing it until it starts to feel a bit like kinetic sand. So... Um, damp, damp sand. And if you keep testing it by balling it together and dropping it, if it stays in a ball, it's ready to go. So that's done. So I'm just going to move this to the side and take the pot for the embeds which doubles up as a mould. So I'm going to want to put a little bit in there and you can get some embeds and pop them round the edge. In there, get a little bit 
mark and you just push that down nice and firm if you don't fill it right to the top you're going to get a few more out of it and also um, they'll float better So there we go, that's that, and then you can tap that out like that, and you've got a, a bath bomb ready to go. If you've got um, any sand castle type moulds, beach moulds, um, you can use those. And if you've got any sugar sprinkles for baking, you can also use those in your bottom of your moulds. I've only got some Christmas ones in the cupboard. Uh, but you can get all sorts from the supermarket if you've not already got them. So we'll do some with some sprinkles in the bottom. That one's in there. Some more embeds in round the side. Like A bit more in there. So you've probably got about 10 minutes to work with this mix before it goes off which is quite a decent amount of time really um, you can use cups <laughs> uh, and pretty much anything that you think you can bang out like that see I've got loads of mix left and we're already on three bath bombs so I said on the um, packet that it would make between six and eight bath bombs depending on how full you do your, your pot but it would probably make um, a few more than that actually but now I'm not filling it up right to the top So there we have three and a little bit later when they're dry I'll pop one in the bath and um, do a little demonstration of, of them working. So we've got three there and loads of mix left so you might get between eight and ten. So I hope you enjoy using it and I hope you have some success. If you do any cool sprinkles or designs, you can always share your um, makes to the page. It'd be nice to see what you've created. But I hope you all have a lot of success with it and enjoy making it and something to keep the, the kids and the adults busy while we're on lockdown. <laughs>